In this video we are going to look at how to solve an equation. So all you do is you've got to get rid of all of these brackets. So we can start by multiplying this x into the bracket. And so we can start by multiplying x with x. Well x times x is x squared. Next would be x times by minus 1 which is minus x. Then it would be this minus x and that x over there which is negative x squared. And then this minus x and that 4 over there which is minus 4x. Then we're going to multiply these two together. So that's going to be equal to minus 2x. And then the minus 2 and the positive 1 which gives us minus 2. What we now do is we... Well, let's first, let's first have a look and see what's happening. What we can see is that these x squareds are going to cancel. And so what we have is minus x minus 4x equals to minus 2x minus 2. So in this scenario, you want to take all the x's to one side and all the numbers to the other side. It doesn't matter how you do it. It's up completely up to you. So what, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to keep this x and this x on the left. And then I'm going to bring this one over to the left hand side. When it crosses over the equal sign it has to change sign and so it was a negative now it's going to have to be a positive on that side. Then what we do is we put all of these together because they like terms and so you can use your calculator to help you here if you don't like working with integers but minus 1 because this is a minus 1 minus 4 that's already minus 5 and minus 5 plus 2 well that's minus 3x now what we need to do is get x by itself, so we need to get rid of this minus 3, so we divide on the other side with minus 3, and the negatives are going to cancel, and so we end up with a final answer of x being 2 over 3. Let's try another one. So remember in the video section, well it's a chapter called products, we saw that when you have a situation like this, it always helps to leave this minus 2 alone for now. Okay, so we'll let that minus 2 hang out over there for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to multiply these two brackets together. And so we can start by multiplying this x and this x over here. So we will put the minus 2, we'll open up a big bracket, and x times x is x squared. Then it will be x times positive 2, which is plus 2x. Then we'll move on to this minus 1 and it will multiply with that x over there and that's going to give you negative 1x. And then the negative 1 and the positive 2, that's going to give us negative 2. Now we'll carry on and we'll move on. So that's now we next we get is plus 2. Now remember, we don't want to put this 2 inside that bracket just yet because that little 2 has to be taken care of. And what that 2 means is that we should open up two brackets. And then I'm just going to quickly go ahead and multiply this 3 into this bracket. Just to take care of that, so that's going to give us 3x minus 12. Alright, so what we can do next is we can multiply this minus 2 into this bracket. And so we'll start with the minus 2 times by x squared. Well, that's minus 2x squared. Then we'll go with minus 2 times 2x, which is minus 4x. Minus 2 times negative x, that's going to be positive 2x. And then minus 2 times minus 2, that's going to give us plus 4. Now we're going to move on to here where we're going to do this part first. So we'll let this 2 hang out on the outside. So we start with x times x, which is x squared. And then it's the x times minus 1. Well, that's just going to give us negative x. And then the negative 1 times x, that gives us another negative x. And then lastly, the negative 1 times negative 1, that gives us plus 1. And that's equal to 3x minus 12 on the right hand side. So now we're just going to write everything minus 2x squared minus 4x plus 2x plus 4. Then we're going to put this 2x, this 2 into the bracket. So that's just going to be 2x squared. Then we're going to multiply it over there. So that's minus 2x. And then we're going to multiply it over there. That's another minus 2x. And then to the last part, which is plus 2. Then we see that this minus 2x squared and this 2x squared cancels. So now what we can do is put all the x's together. So here they all are. Well, it's quite a lot of them. So I'm going to just take all the x's to the left hand side. So we're going to have minus 4x plus 2x, minus 2x, minus 2x. Let's bring this one over, so it's going to become a minus. And then we've got a minus 12 on the right-hand side. And then we'll bring this plus 4 over, so it will become minus 4. And this plus 2, so it will become minus 2. We can then put all these x's together, so minus 4 plus 2. And use your calculator if this part's tricky, but minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2. Minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4. Minus 4 minus another 2, that's minus 6. 
and then this over here is minus 9. So it's minus 9x. On the right hand side we're going to have minus 12 minus 4 which is minus 16 and minus 16 minus another 2 that's minus 18. Then to get x alone you have to divide on the right hand side by minus 9 and the negatives will cancel out and 18 divided by 9 is 2.